Japanese firms are introducing desktop pillows for exhausted office staff, allowing them to fall asleep at work. Snoozing on the job is so common in a country where some people work 80 hours a week, it has its own specific word, inamuri. What's the line there? Uh, it's, it's not Japanese firms, it's Welsh farmers, uh, and it's not desktop pillows, it's battery-powered egg whisks. And it's not falling asleep at work, it's uh, interpretative dance during the Christmas holiday. <laughs> <laughs> So, so actually, it's not about Japanese people falling asleep at work. It's about Welsh farmers dancing at Christmas. So close. Um, <laughs> sadly not the right answer. Anyone else? Are there really 80 hours in one week? <laughs> <laughs> a typical, oh, typical oh, left wing. Uh, not, everybody's, not everybody's got a union making sure they don't have to work more than 12 hours a week. <laughs> 12? <laughs> I think the lie in the story is that they were given pillows because they have pods to sleep in. And I think it's actually progressive to have pods to sleep in because I got fired from my previous job for falling asleep and they fired me. I mean, fair enough, I was driving the train, but that's not the point, right? I was, I was <laughs> still doing more work than most train drivers do. and wasn't striking, I just wasn't doing my job either. <laughs> it's the correct answer. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I can tell you that the real answer is that Japanese firms are introducing nap boxes, allowing workers to fall asleep while standing up. That's rather alarming. Why can't you lie down? Because you could put people in a filing cabinet. Yeah, but Japan is very small. Yeah, but you could have a filing cabinet where you sort of pull out a drawer and then at least you can lie down and get one of your co-workers to shut the drawer for you. I think you've just described a morgue. <laughs> <laughs>